Okay, Curtis, uh, talking to Augusta. They're still in good shape over there, and uh, we've got 715 uh, making some drops up the hill for them and uh, up around the uh, Aspen Grove they're on. Looks like uh, I had a head side of them in there. I know where they're at. Uh, Aspen Grove's not burning. Uh, it's just right along the edge there. Uh, Flagstaff is down at H4. They're in a good spot. And a uh, uh, person with uh, heat-related issues, uh, eating exhaustion or so, is uh, he's still okay. They're working on him. I've got the 6 Alpha Zulu is uh, in trail of uh, 15 to uh, help put out some of the uh, uh, heat along the exterior portions of the uh, Aspen Grove. So uh, it's, all, it's all open right now uh, where the Augusta Hot Shots are at. Started out back in the ICP, I was notified that uh, they'd had slopovers during the night, multiple spots, and they wanted to get the crews moving right away to head out and to start scouting it and seeing what they could do. It was just this organic deal of these guys staying out late, needing to mitigate two to one. Operation contacted us since we had been firing through uh, the upper end um, the last uh, day or so. So I said the, the resources need to mitigate two to one, they need to stay stay in can you guys go out there they were chasing uh, the, what i remember were hundreds of spots last night um, so uh, that was our plan was to, to come in to, to secure anything because again if you've got 100 and you're catching them at night you're probably going to have more pickup the next day so that was our primary mission was to deal with those and then secure the line down to h4 before division echo resources could come back on that day uh, so i got with todd and gave him a brief description of what was out here or what we thought might be out here. And then Todd uh, got with the crew and they headed out to the shortcut parking. I got with the squad bosses real quick and I said, hey, here's what, here's what we're doing. You know, there's not a lot of information. We'll get out there, we'll get the crew ready, we'll go down, we'll figure it out. And then we'll come back up, get everybody together and we'll go down and deal with it. And so we all came down and uh, came off the backside of that knob up there and came into the black fairly quick and uh, came down, found the second slop over and you know it had some active fire on the top end. We sort of talked about you know what we wanted to do to engage and pretty much sort of split you know there were five of us. We, we, uh, Danny and Corey weren't comfortable going down there because we didn't have you know we didn't have it all lined out and uh, one of the assistants from Plumas, you know, said, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I think we ought to wait. And I continued on up to the shortcut parking and tied in with Paul, had a conversation about what I'd seen, you know, sort of gave him a little brief on it, said, hey, you know, I think, you know, we can engage in this, it's not going to be it's going to be time consuming, but it's not going to be overly difficult. On the bottom end, it's real benign. You know, it's not doing a whole lot of anything. So Paul came down, we brought the crew boss trainee, and uh, we stood up, I don't know, we stood there for like maybe 30 seconds or something. It wasn't very long, you know, and Paul was like, okay, get the crew down here. Thank you. 